My name is Robin Warren. My wife was a direct descendant of John Charles Jockin, the chief baker. We've come to see the exhibition, enjoyed it immensely, and we decided to come back and bring the information that we had about Charles Jockin. Apparently, the story goes in the family that Charles Jockin, just before he stepped off the ship, threw the um, deck chairs over the side of the boat for the people who hadn't got on a lifeboat to cling on to and for supposedly save their lives. So quite a hero. Apparently so. You're not directly related I to the chief not, baker. No. What I'm, relationship is he to your family? He he was my wife's great great uncle. Her father was killed at Dunkirk during the war, and he often she was only little, but he told her about Charles Jockin the baker. And he lost his life. He lost his life at Dunkirk. And what about the baker? Where did he lose his life? Uh, in America. So he survived. Yes. He went to America on the Carpathia. After a period of time, he took on another, he went on another ship, the SS Oregon, which sank in Boston Harbor, and he survived that. So two massive sinkings. That's it. <laughs> so he lived to a ripe old age. He was about 78, I think, when he died. Quite young then. Yeah, 1956. And he died in America. In America. Why did he set up a new life in America? Well, because he didn't want to go back to, uh, to Ireland or to the Birkenhead, which is where he was born. But his family originally came from Ireland. And he wanted to make a new life. He and wanted he was... to make a new life in America. So he became an American citizen eventually. He did eventually. And then a few years, how many years later, before he sank again? Oh, it was almost directly. He, he, he was, I think, only about a year that he took his other ship, sank again. Then he decided, then he, I think he, after that, he went on another one, the Olympic. So really, if you were going to serve on board a ship, you would need to find out where he was working. Yes, I suppose so. And yeah. stick close to him. Yeah, yeah, you knew you were going to survive. Have you read any books that mention him? Um, I, I haven't personally, no. What was the secret of his survival? Apparently, he was because he was the chief baker, he had access to yeast. So he had an illicit still brewing brandy and apparently he drank a whole bottle of brandy before he stepped off the Titanic and that appeared to have been his salvation so to speak. So he, this baker used his love? Precisely, very good. Uh, he was swimming for about two hours before he found a lifeboat but they refused to take him on the lifeboat. So he swam around a little bit more and another lifeboat saw him and one of the ship stewards recognised him and pulled him on board. Tell me, how do we know so much about him and his uh, his brandy and his uh, survival? Well, that's what I say. He, he talked about this at the Board of Inquiry. Oh, because they wanted to know how he survived. That's right. So, and it's been passed through the family? Yes. What a remarkable story. You must be very proud of him. Well, I'm proud, yes, but that he survived two shipwrecks, yes. Where's he buried? <laughs> Uh, in Patterson, New Jersey. And you've got some unique copies here. This is from the Daily Mirror. That's right, in April the 19th, 1912. Only a few days afterwards. Yes. And they have different articles. They claim that Captain Smith shot himself. Apparently so. And uh, what you love about that is that photograph of the baker. Yes. That really... Uh... And at this time, news was awaited to see if he had survived. Oh, let me just read that. That was quoted there, you see. There was news in the paper because they didn't know had he survived or not. And this, the report here says they were waiting for news to see if he had survived. He seems very young in that photograph. Well, he wasn't very old, no. No, and perhaps it, 20s, it was a, I think, something like that, yes. as far as I recall. Yeah, so a big not, job for a, a young man, uh, yes. Ed Baker. Yeah. Another story about him, when he was put on the Carpathia, he was so frozen 
They put him in the bread oven to warm him up. Just like toast. <laughs> well, as he was a baker, I assumed that... He felt it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, a lot of them had frostbite, didn't they? Well, apparently, yeah. But apparently after they'd done that, he was perfectly all right. I suppose his first word when he got on board was... Am I well done? <laughs> Oh, it's a wonderful, wonderful story. It, uh, it, that, that he survived two, two, two major sinkings. sinkings yeah. You don't have to be far from shore to die on a boat, you know? No. Now, the, actually, the second one was in the harbour, in Boston Harbour. And he got just got you know, taken off there. He didn't have to get full go in the sea. Did but, he stop baking on board ships after that? He was baker on that, he, yep. on that one, apparently. Well, he was going to be. Yes. And, um, yeah. Yes. As we said, he what used he his loaf. Did, <laughs> yeah, yes. What he actually did in America, I'm not sure of. No. Thank you. 